Okay, so uh, this is a question that's popped up on one of our Facebook groups. So this is the uh, the question here. It's not a very well worded question, so I've had to take a, a few um, assumptions in from a teacher's perspective. So I'll just go through what was asked. So we've got to take a number between 1 and 12. Uh, we've got some fruits in an array or some foods in an array. Um, we print out the nth fruits if you enter one, the first fruit, and then the next three. So if you do one, it should enter pineapple as the first, and then one, two, three, so geranium, apple, jackfruit. Uh, it's quite a few things are missing from the question, so I'll go through these from a, a teaching perspective, if it was me. So the first thing I'd assume is that you've got to create an array. So, it's, so there's our array of our 12 fruits. The second thing, is I'm assuming that the question is referring to the 1 to 12 um, to challenge the fact that arrays start at 0 so you've got to think that if you enter the first element I want number 1 you actually want element 0 so you've got to deal with that so I've took um, my number in so this is my dealing with my number if the number's between 0 and uh, if below 0 or above 12 it'll keep asking until you get one of those numbers and then it will output the number the fruit minus one so if you enter one because you want uh, pineapple it will take one off it to give element zero so that's dealing with the fact that the index of an array is always zero but you've been asked to enter the first second third fourth or so on um, the next thing was dealing with these um, next three and that's fairly straightforward just got a counter um, and I start from zero and I count forward so I'll do that one plus three so if I do um, pineapple, then one, two, three, it'll print those three. That put there. But what happens if you pick something at this end of the list? That's not asked for in the question. So if I print 10, what do I want it to do? Print 10, that one, and then stop, or crash, or what I would expect if it was one of my students to loop back to the top of the list and start again. Um, so if they print corn, the next three are mangosteen, and back to the top, pineapple and geranium. So that's how I've treated it. So I've dealt that with doing my counter, adding uh, my number, so say my number was 10. So 10 plus the counter of zero is 10. That's not greater than 12. Keep doing it. If the number I do is greater than 12, i.e. once I get above mangosteen, it takes 12 off takes us back to the beginning. So let's see how that works in practice. So if I step through the code, populates the array with um, fruits, I can first check that a number below zero gives me an error. It does, asks again. Above 12, asks again. One should give me pineapple as the first element. There we go, and then these three geranium, apple, jackfruits. Okay, so let's step through it again. Let's choose something from the other end of the array. So let's go with the last element. So that should give us mangosteen. Flip back to the top to give you pineapple geranium and apple and we'll one more run through we'll pick uh, number nine so nine should give you um, banana oh sorry ninth fruit is banana one two three four five six seven eight nine ninth fruit is banana and then one, two, three, so it should take it to the end. Coconut, corn, mangosteen. So there you go, let's have a quick look at the code. Let's scroll through so you can pause it for the bits that you need. I've used a while loop here to, to keep checking if the number is between uh, the two set for the, in, for the validation. A for loop, because I know, a count controlled loop, because I know that I'm doing three elements and then an if statement to loop me back around to the beginning if I get to the end of the array. So I hope that's what you wanted. If not just uh,
post the task or, 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 my, or ask the question again on the Facebook group and we'll try and uh, solve it for you. If you found that useful, like and subscribe. Really useful, you can always buy us a coffee.